So we're doing the compression check on the 915 for the first condition inspection. And let's look at some of the tools we've got first, which is, this is a Rotax specific tool we got off aircraft spruce. And um, it's, uh, it just threads into the, the uh, spark plug hole. It's got a fitting on the end. And that's what we're using to pressurize the, the combustion chamber. Regulator, yeah, the regulator we got also. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the process. Uh, the spark plugs on the bottom are all brand new. So everything's torqued on the bottom. All the spark plugs are out of the top of the cylinders. And we're going to, we've got to get to top dead center. We've already done three of the four cylinders. We've got good compression on them. And we've, we're gonna now find top dead center on compression and do the final check here. So we thread in this tool. Being careful not to cross thread. <laughs> There's an O-ring on this adapter. Yeah. They just go up snug on that. Now, we're gonna turn it over. Yeah, here, I'll turn it over for you. See if I can do that while we're, and then we're listening, or we're feeling for that compression stroke. It's gonna be a little further here. There you go, you're starting to feel it. Yeah, there we yep. go. Dry nitrogen. Yep. All right. Now I'm going to hook up the supply line. Okay. Now, if you're not at top dead center exactly, this prop can spin, so right, we stand, stand back. back. So what we're looking for is we have a pressure regulator and then the bypass regulator. So Come start slowly. slowly bringing it up to 80 pounds. Nope, oh. we were not at top dead center. Prop spun. That should be it right there. That's the other way of doing it. You bring your pressure, you hold on to the prop, you bring your pressure up to about 15 pounds, 10 to 15 pounds, and you can feel that de top dead center. Yep, and watch the gauge. Yeah, now stand back. Yep. Bring it back up to 80. Told we got number one at 80 over 80, number four at 80 over 78, number three at 80 over 76, and number two at 80 over 80. You could do this again in next week and have entirely different numbers. It's just a matter of, you know, is there a little piece of carbon under a valve? Um, you know, it just it could be a number of things, but those numbers are excellent numbers for your compression test. Yeah. There you go. Compression test. Is done. Done.